is they would actually go as if, and then at the last second, part of it could be human nature, part of it could be the fact that they don't want to be in part of it in a duel, but subconsciously or consciously, miss it. The other factor to take in, guns at that point did not have laser accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> they could go anywhere. So even if you are a dead aim, like I'm looking right here, this is totally, and this has a little level on it, so I can tell that this is completely level and it's going to hit us. No, killed you second, sorry. <laughs> ah, yeah, good run. <laughs> ah, either way. <laughs> so, let's go, so I'll take my final shot. And I miss. Oh, all right then. Should we continue? <laughs> you, you, anyone? Anyone? You've both been shot and you're bleeding. <laughs> we have both been shot and we are bleeding. But can anyone tell me whether we should keep going or not? Have you both had the same number of turns? Yes. Well, shouldn't he avenge because you killed his second? We have exchanged three rounds of each other, correct? Yes. Okay. Any more would be considered barbaric. Oh. So, okay. even if neither of us had, like, obviously we both hit, I hit his lower shin, he hit my shoulder. Even if we had not connected with anything, any more than three is barbaric, and then that's just sort of manslaughter, and that's terrible. Why would you do that? No, it's civilized. Even if one of them happened to just walk up to the other, bang, bang, bang. That's that's fine. That's acceptable in dual rules. <laughs> but as soon as I go four, oh shit, I'm a barbarian. I need to get arrested. <laughs> so we would call it off. Yes. I would be satisfied because, all right, you know what, sir. I might, not, I might not have liked or agreed with what you said, but you showed up to potentially die today in order to defend what you said. For that, I can respect you. Well, this was my Now, yeah. oh. how are you walking I mean, with a bullet in your shin? Yeah. <laughs> now, our seconds, let's say after the first shot, they do convince us. If I say that I am satisfied, I have demanded satisfaction, and I am satisfied by the fact that you have just shown up to have this duel, we don't even need to have the duel. Uh, there are a number of people, actually, uh, Abraham Lincoln was almost in a duel, and it was cleared up that day by the seconds. They said, no, 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 there was a uh, indiscretion that a paper had said, and so he went after the editor, and he challenged him to a duel. I would love if that happened now. Yeah. Like, he ended up dying and just it didn't know about it himself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, he believed it. Uh, by a pistol in a much different way than a duel. But, but the two of them met, and because communication was awful, they had never really sat down and had a formal meeting about this. So they looked at each other, they said, their seconds talked, they said, oh, that's not what you were saying? You never actually said that? Hold on. That's not what you were saying? You never actually said that? <laughs> All right, we're good. Some things. So, <laughs> let's get into a couple of the crazier duels. Yay! Because they are fun. I know you had well, that that situation happened, I was totally nuts. <laughs> so, because, <laughs> dueling, because dueling started falling out of favor, and people really didn't want to duel, but they felt that they had to do it anyway, there were a lot of crazy, when the seconds asked, okay, what, tool, what uh, weapons would you like to use? Go ahead, Professor, start the list. Uh, well, we already mentioned fish. Yep, we mentioned uh, fish. <laughs> Let's see, there's manure. <laughs> manure, manure, manure. Yep. Forks manure. of manure being thrown at each other. Uh, uh, wait, there was cutlery. There was what? Cutlery. Yep, cutlery. Um, forks and knives. <laughs> billiard balls. Can you imagine just like walk ten paces throw a billiard ball? Uh, uh, Ow! Uh, <laughs> Why is it a ball? Oh, wait, well, he throws a shoe. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, uh, so so the races were always fun too. The, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There was actually a uh, two people that got into air balloons and tried to shoot each other's air balloon out of the sky. So they weren't actually shooting at each other. They were went up in balloons and they were trying to shoot the other person's balloon to make them fall out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> that is an amount of excess I can get behind. <laughs> um, there was one actually. I think it was. Uh, I think it was a fictional duel, but it's one of my favorite ideas. It was. Uh, I think it was proposed by Isaac Asimov as two our, sausages. Our seconds can actually take a seat. Oh, seconds. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
were had. One of them had cholera, the other one didn't. And <laughs> was called off immediately, because that's ridiculous. Yes. Um, <laughs> Duel by sausage. But <laughs> totally, dueling started falling out of favor for a number of reasons. One of the biggest ones was, if we stand back to back again, all right, 10 paces, one. Oh. Dead. Nice. <laughs> Because of cheating, because of trickery. Yes. So. Dishonor. Because of me. So. <laughs> People like the Baron, dueling was ruined for everyone. I hope you're all happy. Well, but you did. I challenge you to a culinary duel. Today. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll show up, baby. <laughs> Alright, I win. So. <laughs> you get the belt. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Tom what kind of lies? Your question. Actually, I've seen in a couple of depictions where there were actually thirds, or at least there was a third party that was not a neutral endeavor. Like, you would show up with essentially an entourage of two, one on either side. Could you explain that? Because I haven't gotten into it too much to actually research it. That part is actually remind me. I'll look into more specifics on that later, but I know that the seconds were the most important to anyone else, I think, as long as they were an even number. I actually but know the answer to that. Please! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I've done some random research. Um, in most cases, the the third on each side was a um, like a family lawyer or um, a business associate that dealt with money in case they wanted to settle up financially. If they decide, okay, we're done, but maybe we can grease each other's pockets a little bit to make sure this never happens. Or if we're actually fighting to the death, we can make sure if there's any last changes to the will and testament, we can do that. So. Damn, which group belong to me? So, some, it, it was someone that was not there to fight. Also, like, kind of a witness, too, to just make sure it was a witness just for the duel, not to, like, run out and tell people, but to be like, okay, you shot, you bled, it's over, that's it. We're witnessing this. You can't go back to each other. Because the seconds might not be entirely objective in the result. Right. Yep. Yeah. But then on the flip side, from people not wanting to and choosing ridiculous objects, they would also use ridiculous objects to hurt other people, like uh, axes or sledgehammers. <laughs> yes. Oh. That was a good one. Uh, <laughs> salad fork. Yep. <laughs> I can't say I've heard of salad forks, but I. There was a couple. Can you know. imagine being in a pool with a sledgehammer? Okay, you get first swing. I was like, right now, I'm here. I've heard of things that's been made. If you choose sledgehammers, I am satisfied. That's cool. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Just don't talk to me. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, if a uh, opponent were to cheat, would the seconds, well, I know they could, like, prevent, like, revenge for their fallen, but would they get the honor back if the second didn't? It's kind of one of those, if there's no witnesses, the people who still survive kind of make the policy on that. So if you cheat and kill one person, you're probably going to just shoot their second and then walk away and be like, yep, yeah, I won, and then the second challenged me, I beat him too, and I walked away, and they were so, so sad. Isn't that right, my second? <laughs> and I killed all the people on the way home, I felt so happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there at one point a duel that... The person who got the second shot wouldn't take it and just follow the other guy around the world for like years and then finally just shot him. <laughs> I swear, I swear. <laughs> my husband who claims to know everything said this, but he claims to know everything. It's, it's not something, I mean, it sounds far fetched, it's not something that is terribly far fetched, but at the same time, uh, I don't know enough about that particular duel to say yes or no. It's still far fetched. But even then, that would not be a duel, that would be stalking in manslaughter. Um, that, like that right there is uh, actually another point that I was going to bring up. A lot of people bring up the Wild Wild West, and how everybody just walked outside and everybody was having a duel all the time. Just nothing but duels in the Wild Wild West. They got cows, they got duels. But <laughs> uh, people, like, people that were extremely good at dueling, particularly in the Wild Wild West, would stay as far away from each other as possible because they didn't want to offend each other. Because if you're very good at dueling, if you're very good at killing someone, you don't want to keep doing that. You just want to know that you can survive. So if, say, uh, let's just pick some people, like let's say the professor and myself are very skilled duelers, uh, and I find out he's going to GobbleCon in Connecticut, I'm probably going to stay away from GobbleCon. I don't want to stay away from GobbleCon. I like GobbleCon. 
Mm. Well, I'm probably well, I'm going to be there. <laughs> but yeah, there's, a good, chance, and try and there's a good chance you'll piss each other off, <laughs> have to fight, and one or both of you will die, and you don't want to do this. Or maybe um, another kind of team. Well, there's Bob Odegaard as well, who was a famous gunman, absolutely like ridiculously fast with it, with the Odegaard, and he ended up dying because somebody shot him back in the head, and then ran around telling everybody that he beat him in a legitimate duel. So there was a lot of like trying to get your your building your reputation out, building up. It's not a modern thing to oversell your your point. Facebook did. Yeah, that's the old school Facebook. Totally killed the Hickok. In a legitimate duel. <laughs> no, you didn't. I saw it. Uh, LOL, you did. That's a big one. Um, the, so, do we want to move on to, say, famous duels in media? Sure. Okay, like some of the more obvious ones are I just use, like, Tombstone. Yeah, like you, you use one. Um, I like Rob Roy, if anyone's ever seen that, there's a very good duel. If you've ever seen Firefly, it's yes. <laughs> you know, I, one of my favorite lines in the entire series is, it's what? <laughs> I think he knows the technical. Yeah. <laughs> Where they have to duel with swords. Uh, that, I mean, that's a really good, like, they did a lot of research for that episode to make sure it was as uh, accurate as possible to old school and 18th century dueling. So, they did a lot of work in that. Uh, but also, even in Star Wars, it's very big. You know, you yes, you you know, you have uh, sullied the honor of our family by becoming Darth Vader. I have to fight you, and it has to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. It's there's an ar there's armies going crazy at each other, fighting each other, killing each other. But it's all down to this one duel between Luke and his father. Who's James Earl Jones? No, I wasn't pretty. But as a Not white man, Christians. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't care if the skin colors don't match. It's James Earl Jones. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think we have I'm something going on here. Oh, you know, I'm snapping into a slim jim? Yeah. All right. So, so you're the slim jim. <laughs> I what? I mean, that's, that's, all I know. that's the first time anyone's so, referred to me as slim anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, sorry, are you snapping into a morbidly obese juice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I only heard the slim jim thing and the shirt. You still <laughs> That's what I'm coming That's what I'm coming Anyway, guys, do it. Do it! Star Wars! I kill you. <laughs> Dead, <laughs> done. Um, so yeah, those are the most uh, famous ones in media that I've seen. Uh, well, actually, it's it's time for um, questions and answers, if there are any. Uh, yeah. Unless there's one last thing you wanted to cover. Um, there's only ten minutes left. Yeah, no, I, I think questions and answers are actually pretty good. But it's pretty long, so. Yes. When I kill you in the brunch of challenge, <laughs> will your second avenge your death? I win! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Like? <laughs> he elected himself I'm a second. I'm a judge and a second. Baron, <laughs> Baron, I'm, 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 Baron, I tried to teach you to make microwave macaroni, and you messed up. Are you going to I just did it. Pop the top, put in the microwave, press the time. What did you do? <laughs> put the whole box in the microwave. <laughs> Set it on fire. Set it for three hours. <laughs> Microwave, took the microwave, put it in the fireplace, took the fireplace, and put it out the window. <laughs> good Where are you going to get your macaroni? There's no shame in not having culinary skill. We are clearly far above such menial labor. Absolutely! That's what she's for. <laughs> the <laughs> tool is beneath you. <laughs> Any real questions? <laughs> <laughs> the policeman had a question. 